Okay, round two. Um, so we're going to do another problem, and now you're going to see something kind of wild happens here that is uh, that's a little troubling when you first do it, but it's it's uh, it's if you don't catch it, it can really really screw you up with these. And so um, what I want to explain to you is that you notice how on those last two problems, like we had you know x to the third, x squared, x, and then a zero term. Well, on this problem, you'll see we're, we're, we're going up a little higher. So we're starting with a, a term raised to the fourth power, which is fine. We can go as high as we want, right? Um, it just means my answer is going to start with a to the third, right? But you'll also notice that there's no a to the third term with this one. And so we have to be really careful when we do that, that we make sure that every term gets represented, right? Um, so I'm going to do what I did before where I take my highest exponent I'm just going to write them down kind of small like this. Okay, and then I'm going to put the numbers that are associated with those above them. So the, or below it. 4, and then we have positive 2 by the 2, and then we have negative 4 with the 1. And then for my 0 exponent, my constant, we have 12. All right, and then I'm dividing by we're using negative 2, right? Because it's positive, you make it negative. Now, what do I do with this, right? There's this big open space here where I don't have something. So when that happens, you are going to use 0. 0 is a placeholder, and we like that. Okay, so we're going to take 0, and we're just going to put it in there, and that's what we're going to use. And uh, you'll see that it winds up working out just fine. All right, so we're going to put our line here. I'm going to switch back to black ink here. We're going to put a box. Um, and now we uh, we will go ahead and just use our normal process. So we're going to pull this four down. Now we're going to multiply and add, multiply and add. And we're going to do it one extra time because we got an extra term here. I don't know what that is that I just did. It was kind of weird. All right, so here we go. Negative 2 times positive 4 gives me negative 8. 0 plus negative 8, because remember, you're adding these two things, right, gives me negative 8. Now I'm going to multiply. Negative 2 times negative 8 gives me positive 16. And now we're going to add these two. We got 2 plus 16. And that gives me 18. Negative 2 times positive 18 gives me negative 34, or 36, sorry. I got to learn how to multiply here. Okay, and then when we add those, negative 4 and negative 36 added together give you negative 40. Remember, when they're both negative like that, you just kind of add them up and keep the sign. Negative 2 times negative 40, and it gives me positive 80, and 80 and 12 make 92. And so this wound up working out really nicely, right? And then when we write our answer out, we're going to start with a to the third power. So we're going to have 4, a to the third minus 8a to the second power plus 18a. And you'll see it works out really well. And this one, unlike the others, now we do have a, a Frankenstein um, remainder. So we're going to go plus, because 92 is positive, and we're going to put 92 on the, in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we're going to do what we've always done, which is use our divisor and put that underneath it. So we got a plus 2. And that is how these work, all right? And you'll have, you'll have a few problems where, you know, let's say, for example, you have something like x to the third plus 4x squared, and they want you to divide x plus 5, right? Well, you would set that up by saying, okay, I'm going to put 1 for my x to the third term. You do your 3, 2, 1, 0, right? My second term would be 4, and I don't have anything for my x or for my zero exponent, which is a constant. So you would just put in zeros. So whenever you see a zero, that's just think of it as a placeholder. And, um, you know, that's how, uh, how we deal with this. So um, I hope, uh, I wish you guys luck with this. And uh, we'll see you um, at the, uh, on the video where I go over the problems, the select problems.